Big change is happening to the CSR ranking in Halo 5 and how it will affect your ranks moving forward. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're talking about the updates that recently just were implemented into Halo 5 and its ranking system. If you like these news and information videos, please be sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the video. Subscribe for more Halo content if you want to stay updated with all the news and awesomeness coming your way. Let's get right into the video here. So there was an update on Halo Waypoint about the new CSR and MMR updates coming to Halo 5. And as we know, True Skill 2 was implemented last month and I've been actually finding it rather successful. Some people have different opinions as well, but since with this new matchmaking system, the ranking system hasn't been lining up properly with what you've been seeing. So basically you've been seeing you know, people with this high of ranks, but you're playing matching against guys with this level of skill for the matchmaking so they're right now with this update they're trying to get these the csr and mmr to kind of line up into a proper location so then when you see a guy who is a high tier high tier onyx or a high tier uh diamond player platinum player is that that's their actual skill level because apparently there's been a bit of an issue with the ranks not matching up with the matchmaking so to state it out clearly, this is how the new ranking system is going to add and subtract points when you're playing. With the change, CSR will go up plus 15 on a win as long as MMR is also going up. Players will also only lose one point if their CSR is below their MMR when they lose. This way, players who end up with losses despite high performance will quickly regain the lost CSR and kept their CSRs respective to their actual skill. Likewise, players with overestimated CSRs will lose 15 on a loss as long as their MMR is below their CSR, but will gain plus one on a win. So to summarize, basically, when you're calculated to win the match and you win, you get plus one towards your CSR. But say if you're calculated to lose and you win the match anyways, you get plus 15 to your CSR. Vice versa, if you're you know, high tier, say you're a really high up Onyx player, but you're losing the diamonds, yeah, you're gonna get your yourself knocked down negative 15. But if you win, you get plus one against those same players. So hopefully the MMR and CSR will kind of work their way up to a point where they'll meet up and represent your skill properly. Next season, all players will place 200 CSR behind their MMR instead of 100 because the new system covers much faster. In addition, no one will start above 1700 CSR. Though right now, you're, the ranks and the MR are just gonna be kinda all over the place, but when the next season rolls around, we should have a very accurate system finally implemented into Halo 5 and probably the most accurate matchmaking and ranking system Halo's ever seen, possibly. Also in the recent update, uh, Josh Menke also goes into just like why am I matching why am I an Onyx player match against diamonds and vice versa and basically saying it's some weird thing going on with the matchmaking if you want to go into the greater details you can link will be in the description down below if I went into it it'd be a 20 minute long video of really confusing I'm going uh, what but basically it's, it's reiterating that the matchmaking rankings are not matched up properly to your overall rankings or your CSR and so then there's just this, there's this weird discrepancy happening right now but with this implementation it's been uh, kind of hopefully will level things out quite a bit now i started playing some free for all matches with this new ranking system and i would say that it's actually working out rather well i'm actually able to rank up as a solo queue player playing some free for all which is awesome or before if you lost you just went down 15 points and if you won you went up 15 points but the way the matchmaking is supposed to work is that you're supposed to win about 50 percent of your games and so then essentially you're mathematically spinning your wheels right there at least with this new uh, csr system it'll take into account personal performance and skill level and so then you're able to rank up i started a live stream a couple days ago uh for free for all at like diamond three i was able to get up to just short of diamond five and i even finished in fifth place in one match and only lost one CSR and I was able to go back up to I believe Diamond 4 at the time so it's actually a really nice system they've implemented so it actually can kind of grind your way up to where you want to be or where your true skill actually is at because I remember when I was playing like I'm not a platinum player man I swear I'm better than this <laughs> though I haven't really tried a whole lot of team-based games since this 
change was just implemented so i just tried out free for all and like i said i was able to rank up rather consistently it was really nice but anyways guys now let's go into the popularity playlist of here of which playlists were the most popular ones as josh mink always likes to post which playlists are the most popular which really kind of helps you also understand like how well you can match make in a game as well so we're gonna go from bottom to top so least populated to most populated and so the least populated was triple team which was a kind of a, you know temporary playlist i didn't really care much for triple team i just kind of felt like it was a more chaotic version of team slayer and i'd rather just go play team slayer it's a more fair version of it uh warzone assault sadly i love warzone assault it's like putting rush into halo and that uh, i thought that would be amazing but you know most people are not really digging it so sadly and that's what's happening there mythic warzone firefight because it was over the weekend free for all griff ball elimination the hcs playlist team doubles our team arena swat legendary warzone firefight then we have infection big team battle quick play castle wars which everyone loves castle wars right uh the fourth most populated playlist was heroic warzone firefights then you had warzone number three number two slayer and so that means number one goes again to super fiesta but that's it for this matchmaking update let me know in the comment section down below how the new csr ranking system has been working out for you guys i've been finding a lot of success with it it's been working out well for me i want to see in the comments how it's working out for you guys as well i do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well so anyways guys like i said earlier if you enjoyed this video found it informational please remember to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel helps out this video get some more notoriety so more people in the community stay up to date with all the changes coming to halo 5 because these changes are probably going to be implemented the halo 6 when you think about it and also if you want to stay up to date with any more halo content make sure to tap subscribe because we are always uploading options to this channel at all the times so anyways guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out